It was from these shores of Northwest America that 80 years ago, the men of fortune left behind their women and children and went in search of gold. But in October 1975, it was the men who were left alone to pass the school day time. All over the States, fathers were left to face the household chores, to rid the home of at least the obvious dust, and to jog the bachelor day memories. For just a week, their wives and girlfriends had escaped to do their very unusual thing. Right. They packed their prettiest clothes, got themselves their prettiest faces. They set off for a week in and over the city of Seattle. Okay, like to welcome everyone to the base this afternoon. We're sending up on the west elevator here at 8 feet a minute. About 9 and a half miles. Not this time in search of gold, but to have fun, to see the sights, and take a trip to the very height of their chosen ecstasy, Four Part Harmony. swept October of Seattle, 4,000 ladies brought a scene bizarre enough to have caused an old-time gold digger to forfeit his claim just to watch and listen. Let me be there in your morning, let me be there in your night, let me change whatever's wrong and make it right, let me take you through that wonderland that only you can share, while I Four mothers, high on harmony, joined the Sunday night welcoming party given by the local female barbershop club to say hello to the vanguard of the visiting thousands. <laughs> Meet officially the sweet Adeline's Inc. of America and permanent staff director from the Tulsa headquarters, Sally Eggleton. This is the reception for Sweet Adeline's beginning our annual convention. It's our 29th annual convention for Sweet Adeline's in 28 years of existence. Sweet Adeline's began uh, in 1947 with only 40 women who put the organization together. And at our very first convention, we had 150 women and 14 competing quartets. Who we are today, 28 years later, with 26,000 members in over 600 chapters throughout the United States and Canada, uh, Panama, Alaska, Hawaii, England. It's exciting and it's spreading. And what is spreading? Well, harmonizing the world, because that's what it's all about. I read the Here's the present VVIPs in the Adeline world, current holders for a few more days of the Quartet Championship. I called Chart. I was going to call you a couple of times, but you never put around them making the call. Because I remember Edie's first got vision. So does Edie. Edie Walters, Jean Piles, Gloria LaQuaglia, and Judy St. John, known harmony-wise as the Sounds of Music. In a few days' time, they'll hand over their title to the newly elected queens. We're so excited. We're waiting to see who the new queens are. We are rooting for them. We're wishing them well. And we've waited all year to come to this convention so that we could watch new queens. They will be going through all the things we did last year, and it's going to be exciting sitting there watching them. We'll be praying for them. And we know that it's just going to be terribly great for whoever wins. We can hardly wait. And neither can anyone else wait who's come to watch the quartet and chorus finals after reporting for harmony to Anne Gooch, international president. Region two. Yeah. 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 Jeff Green from Muncie, Indiana, Region 4. Yeah. 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 Bill Sagan, Region 12, San Jose, California. Yeah. Yeah. Woman, 
watch me grow, see me stand and start a toe, as I spread my loving arms across the land. But I'm still an embryo, with a long, long way to go, and until I make my brother understand, understand, whoa, yes, I am wise. I can do anything. I am strong. I am invincible. I am woman. I am woman. I'm a woman. Leaving any odd man present in no doubt about his place in the setup. The ladies confirm their friendships and look forward to a week of harmony ahead. $15 convention fee to find, and each a registered devotee. You want one? Just one. Two dollars. Okay. Can you lean down? Repeating quartets and choruses, all and any time is practice time. They do it wherever and whenever they can. I love that ricky ticky ticky ricky ticky ticky ricky ticky tick jazz. At the same time your badge yes, was? at the same time mine. Okay, let's just type it and then we'll list it and then if it comes in we'll find it real fast. Queens just stamp their impressive presence on the city, singing their way to young and old alike, taking with them a quartet of real smiles and explaining their passion to anyone who cares to listen. Barbershop music is four-part harmony. We all sing a different part at the same time. I'm sure the pitch pipe. This is the pitch pipe. Yeah. And it blows. And it has different pitches on it all around. Sometimes, if you blow it right, it even comes out good. good. We're going to show you what it sounds like. And this lady right over here is going to sing my part for you. Now you listen. Mm. Wherever you go, wherever you may wander in your life, surely you'll know. Good. Now, we're going to put this lady with that. And that's going to be harmony, and she sings the tenor, the real high part. Now you listen. Wherever you go, wherever you may wander in your life, surely you'll know. Always want to be there. Now, the lady over here, she's going to sing her part, and that's the baritone part. I bet you'd be a baritone, wouldn't you? Wherever you go, wherever you go, wherever you may wander in your life, surely you'll know, surely you'll know, I'll always want to be there, be there. She's going to be the baritone. <laughs> <laughs> I can see her eyes lit up. <laughs> now I'm going to sing with them, and that's going to make the bass part, and that's going to be tour part. And the bass is the really low, low part. Like, like maybe your daddy might sing. If he had long hair. Watch you grow, grow and go through the changes in your life. That's how I know, I know, I'm always going to be there, be there. 
Whatever you feel, you need a friend to lean on, here I am. Whatever you call, you know that I'll be there. <laughs> Let me be there in your morning. Let me be there in your night. Let me change whatever's wrong and make it right. Let me take you to that wonderland that only two can share. All I ask of you is let me be there. Here they are. Oh, how darling. Here I have Apart from the regular fees paid by all members, the conventions are good sales drive opportunities. The annual get-together moves from city to city, and with it, the knickknacks, the sweaters, and the stickers. an Adeline, always an Adeline. The quarter notes wearing the crowns of past success ignore the waning lung power and give voice at the drop of a coronet. Past 16 for 30 years, we're still wet behind the ears. Where the light there go, my dears, at 45. But for the competing singers, those coronets are the crowning prizes. Behind the excited welcomes and the razzmatazz, months of late-night practice wasn't just for fun. Young quartet Terry, Patty, Sandy and Nancy, fancifully known as the Tetrachords, first time in the competition, hadn't come all the way from Missouri just for the goodwill aspect of the sweet Adeline lifestyle. Get ready to compete. Yeah, I can hardly wait. We're able to make, have two money-making projects in this convention, and we've got to decide tonight I mean, it's getting down to the wire, you guys. We've got to decide what... Honorable it might be to hostess the convention and competition, but for the local Seattle ladies, sandwiched between the call of fretful children and the professionals from headquarters, harmony isn't always easily come by. It's taken about three and a half years altogether to put this whole thing together. Lots of paperwork, lots and lots of meetings, too many. Lots of telephone calls, typing, a lot of work. One thing we have had to do is... You have to have money to make money, so we had to come up with some ways to, things to sell, ways to make money to put this thing on. One thing we've done was uh, collect glass to, and take it to the recycling center. We're given a penny a pound, and I found out my station wagon can hold about 1,500 pounds. And then sometimes we have an item that we sell to the members. Our ladies love to wear things all over them, and uh, this is another thing that we do. It's perhaps market an item to sell. But mostly it's just meetings and meetings and more meetings. I think we ought to sell scarves. Oh, oh. Yeah. Why not? I like that idea. Oh, yeah. I like that. Listen, can you imagine 4,000 women trying to decide what color scarf they want? No, we could just I have four different colors. Have one color. This four way colors. we have one color of pin. You well, listen, see? I think we ought to have more than one money I would like project. to wear this on my sweatshirt to the grocery store. I am a sweet Adeline. I don't this. believe you. <laughs> I know. Well, you know how crazy they are. They'll buy anything. Well, well this is true. Have you ever seen them at a convention? To Donna Raymond, general chairman of the local organizing committee and her support, 4,000 visiting ladies with nothing to do between sing-outs could be a headache. Members have skimped and saved a lot for this special trip and a deal of pre-organization left back home.
Even though the weather is rarely in agreement, the locals have got to present a sunny, carefree picture. call it moonlighting because I work as a clerk for Los Angeles County eight hours a day, five days a week. Every other Saturday I go into homes and do maid work. They pay me 30 bucks for one day. My husband is so happy. You ask me how happy he is. Why, he had tears in his eyes when he stood up. He could see the airport and he said, good boy. <laughs> They're taking care of each other. That's, that's about it, you know. But there are casseroles in the freezer, I mean, that have been made, you know, like weeks ahead of time, and, you know, just uh, things like that. And anything they can lay their hands on, eat kids, that's the thing. <laughs> women's live. What is women's live? We've been liberated long before Gloria Steinem or any of those To sing right, they've got to look right, and whatever time can be spared from practice, the foursome from Missouri allocate to needle and cotton, gilt and grooming. Well, it'll look entirely different. And your hair uh, needs. Ah, uh, yes, your hair. I saw your hair. Have you seen it? Once committed, there's no holding a young quartet with dreams of success. Our quartet formed about three years ago, and our director helped put us together because she said we had such a good blend. And when we started singing together, we realized that we did have a good sound and that we really enjoyed being together. And one thing led to another, and we just wanted to try to be the very best that we could. So we have a coach. And this past year, I think we have learned so very much, and we, we feel we've improved quite a bit. And we're really anxious to get on stage and show everybody what we can do. Whatever happened to the old song my mother sang to me? I wish someone would bring them back so we could sing them like we did when we were three. Whatever happened to the old song, sure you hear them now and then. But they don't play enough of them. We really love them, want to bring them back again. to those mammy songs and what about sweet Adda, Adeline I wish someone would groom shine on harvest moon and that good old gang of mine of mine bum 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 gentleman from Seville would think of this particular barber shop is hard to imagine. Well, there are some Put your tail up. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> there is like, something like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, I do not believe that you would be allowed a chance to come up and walk But no more impressive a character than stage manager okay. Jewel King has ever held an audience's attention more completely in this theatre as she briefs 160 ladies on the ways a true Adeline should behave on and off stage at the final. So everything will be just fine. You can relax and worry about it. When it's your turn, you're going to be there. And you're going to get out in front of this mic and you're going to really delight everybody. So, beyond that, do you have any questions? You'll be oh, behind the curtain. You always go behind the curtain, otherwise you hit a wall. And they'll be open more. 
You have a lot of trouble going in front of curtains. You'll find that true in nine out of ten theaters. And you were asked to bring a disability form. If you have a constant tick on your right eye, the judges may think you're too abandoned, you know. So you claim this as a disability, and she says, oh, that poor dear. And she ignores the fact that you are winking madly at every man in the audience. So if you've never sung for a convention audience, let me tell you, ladies, they are the best audience in the whole world. That's not right, we get all night. They love you. They love everything you do, they love what you wear, they love what you sing, and they just applaud like crazy, and you're going to love singing for them. And you're never going to find them anywhere else but at our convention. You all are great quartet, and we wish all of you great success and great happiness in your appearance today. My magic thumb. I'm sure you look lovely. Thank you. My eye. Get the excitement going. That's my little baby. That's my baby. Come on, kid. That's my... I'm her another mother. Good luck. Are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. They're almost no, as pretty as what's in them. Oh. <laughs> well, remember Jack Benny and Bodie Odo? It wasn't so long ago. Remember Penny, Candy, Amos, and Andy, good old Fibber and Molly. Golly, seems like yesterday. Remember Rudy, Valley, Tin Bat. There's something I'd like to say to you. Don't be surprised. You recognize I'm no detective, but I've just surmised. suffered by the tetrachords before they will finally reach the stage. Dry-lipped smiles for the photographer, a visit to the warm-up room, and the final inclined concrete walk to the stage. I love to listen to the jazz, I call the ricky-ticky. I love to listen to that wonderful sound. When all the bands begin to play a tune in ricky-ticky, they all gather round. I love that ricky dicky dicky ricky dicky dicky ricky dicky dick jack Oh, that's my favorite time, that's the risky. 
Daffy Dick. That's the kind of music I love. I love. This is the most exciting thing we've ever done. You're ready. Come on. Young Missouri ladies reflect their three-year dedication. To think all things are possible. It's Backstage, strong opposition, the front office four, a more experienced quartet from Michigan, try not to listen. Oh my love, because that's my mommy. Say old bell, by the way, old
140 songs sung, and soon they'll discover what it takes to be a champion, and an ex-champion. You know, love isn't love till you give it away. And our crowns, we have to share them with other people. And this is what the happiness is. We must give them away so that we can be happy and they can be happy. But it's only the judges who can award that elusive happiness. Not bad first time out. Second would have been better, but that's someone else. And now, our 1975 Queens of Harmony, the front office. Stomping chorus competition is still to come. First, just one more night of freedom. Voices, not quite up to competition standard, recklessly filling in the fourth part or doing their own special party piece. Shedding, and many would say better in the woodshed. Whenever two or three are gathered together, there will come a fourth, and then it's got her, or sometimes him, hooked for many sleepless hours. Ba -bum -bum -bum. That man I'm crazy about, he don't want me no more. Think I'll take me a freight train, cause I'm feeling so blue. Right all the way to the end of the line, thinking only of you. suggestion of home ahead. The Seattle night closes with the sounds to come and on sleeping ladies in rooms draped with the chorus accoutrements of tomorrow. of a wintry Saturday night, 85 top hats and tails in green and white arrive to sing it out for the chorus championship. Always pleasing and sometimes startling the audience with the glamour, incredulity and flamboyant results of the past year's work. Each person is given the material by the chapter. Our chapter earns money and buys the material and then we each take our package home and sew it up ourselves or have it made. 
at our own cost, but they, then they belong to the chapter. Some of us aren't talented enough, <laughs> so, so we have to call mother or grandmother or a seamstress and have them help us out. We stress grooming very much, and we try to give at least uh, a certain silhouette, for example, to the hair style. We can't have them all look exactly alike, but we try to give it, you know, the fell out hair, and the hats were placed on by a committee also. stage of Aida proportions for this operation, 80 ladies to get off and 100 on, and all the time a crocodile of 1,300 multicolored maids, mums and grandmas wait their turn around the outskirt corridors of the auditorium, while others are relieved that it's over. Surprisingly, men are often the chorus leaders. Fred King, yet to take his Dundalk chorus on stage, feels it's a mutual blessing. They give me a, a great pleasure in my life, allow me to direct them musically. There's a love affair here, and uh, we hope that all the people can see it out there when we go out to sing. freedom out there that you'll be the international champs. <laughs> you like that? Yeah! Do you want to be the champs? Yeah! Okay, are we going to do it? Yeah! When the judges deliberated later, they placed this chorus, the St. Joseph's from Missouri, in second place. Everything that's done gives me said, don't be late.
in spite of his love affair, Fred King managed only second place, but the winning moment was something else. The 1975 International Forest Champions are the San Diego... For the ladies from San Diego, California, it'll be a moment to live over time and time again. A whole week of female exuberance. However minor the talent or skills, the dedication was complete and happiness abundant.